an Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Ruth and Cecilia. Yes. Should we click the thing that says the meeting is being recorded? So I'll, I'll, I'll get that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Dashboard Discussions. I'll this is our presentation. Okay. And we need the slide change, by the way. Here comes the slide. Okay. So and I about, have control. Yeah, I have control again? Yeah. Okay. So about six months into the global pandemic, our families decided to pod together. Um, and the two of us started hanging out in our cars, having very intense discussions about various academic, political, and personal topics, just as a way to escape. Um, we talked about feeling alone and isolated, about how the current government is handling or was handling COVID-19, mm -hmm. about the Black Lives Matter movement, um, and lots of other topics. And we also recorded some of these conversations on the voice notes app in our phone um, so that we could listen back to them at a later time and um, reflect on them. This inspired us to actually write and produce a podcast for our capstone, which we decided to call Dashboard Discussions, um, since many of these conversations happened in the car. <laughs> yep, bonk, very good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so in our first capstone outline, we answered the prompt asking about our biggest challenges by saying, I'd say the biggest challenge we will have to consider is the best way to record and edit the podcast, as well as where we should go so that outside sound will not affect the audio quality of the podcast. And we were on to something. Uh, not only was finding the right place to record a challenge, which we did eventually solve, solve by talking to Steve about using the black box theater, um, but finding a good time to record was even harder. With both of us taking on new hours at our jobs, um, combined with swim practice, practices and AP classes, building towards testing days, um, neither of us had much availability nor flexibility. Unfortunately, we picked a project that required us to be in the same place at the same time in order to accomplish anything. So weeks went by where neither of us were able to make time to work together, um, let alone even see each other. Um, so <laughs> originally we proposed writing, recording, and producing you know, four hour long episodes. However, as we made progress on outlining each episode, we found that 30 minutes would be ample enough time to get our message across with three different discussions in each episode. By cutting down on the number of episodes and length of episodes, we felt that our goal of completing each episode with high quality conversations would be more attainable. So we wanted, like the goal of this podcast, we really wanted to try and empower young women's voices um, in any way possible. So we wanted to have 10 minutes with three different guests speaking. So 10 minutes of conversation with each guest, um, young women at the high school who are our friends or our peers. Um, and we had three people that we did pick out and we did talk to them about, about being on this. Um, and we already had these conversations. We just didn't get around to recording them. So we wanted to choose Mira Fowler because Mira Fowler, um, Go, is at the School of Contemporary Dance and Thought, the Hatchery Studio. Um, and we wanted to talk to her about being non-conforming as a woman and being confident and free in your body. Um, we wanted to talk to Julia Albo Fisher on being a radical and outspoken activism, um, the backlash she faces from people online and in person for being so radical as a young woman. Um, and we also wanted to talk to Audrey Johnson about her leadership role and being on the Mayor's Youth Commission, founding the Thrifting Club um, and being the president of Key Club and how being a woman in a leadership position uh, involves prejudices and various responses that people have. Did you get a bonk? I don't know. Maybe a bonk. There was bonk. I think yeah. so. Yeah. So <laughs> when we first realized we were short on time, um, our first thought was we considered removing the guests from the show um, in order to make it easier to find times that everyone uh, could work with so we could safely record. Um, but we felt that young women's voices were far too underrepresented and are far too underrepresented in the media for us to miss out on an opportunity to talk openly with our female peers about their interests and experiences. Um, so we decided to continue forward with bringing guests onto the podcast. We did call them and we had conversations. Um, we had conversations and we talked about the future of recording. We never actually got around to recording those moments though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so we actually did successfully record five minutes of our introductory episode those never exported or um, fully edited. Um, using the equipment provided in the black box theater, we recorded an introduction to idea and ourselves. So again, Ruth and I both started taking on larger leadership roles at our places of employment. Um, that combined with AP courses coming to a close, uh, colleges sending out orientation tasks, swim practices and schedule changes due to MCAS. <laughs> there was not a single day that our schedules aligned for about a month at a time. 
um, in a way that we could both be in the same place at the same time, not only to do work, but also to just hang out. So even towards the end of the school year, when our only task was to create this slideshow, um, the only day we could make it work to do collaborative work with our schedules was literally today. So, <laughs> so all right. um, I think there's a bonk. I'm not sure when. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But throughout this pro um, process, despite not having a finished physical product to show, we have both learned a lot. Um, we've had long in-depth research and well thought out discussions with each other and other girls our age on various topics, you know, such as the BLM movement, paleontology, you know, what it is like to miss out on rites of passages during a pandemic. And we learned that, you know, failure is not final and, you know, time is just an obstacle to work with and around. Okay, so though we didn't find success in creating the podcast, we did succeed in meeting our most important goal. Um, we wrote in our midterm capstone essay that overall, our most important goal is to both educate ourselves and others about various topics. The research and heavy thinking that we have put into this project as an idea has not been lost on us and has shaped how both of us will continue to view and process the world around us. Sorry. We, we, we're having interesting, and a new, oh, there we oh, go. Look, perfect, okay. So while we are unsure of when we'll be able to complete this project in the near future, because science, camp, work, college, we are both hopeful that this is something that we can come back to and continue our work on in the future. Our friendship and passion for amplifying our peers' voices will never be lost. Awesome. That is yeah. the end of our slideshow. <laughs> So, so now, now it's time for, for a, a few questions from the audience. Okay. Um, of course. And I, I see someone out there in the audience with a question. So, um, and, and, and forgive me, I think that the computer just stopped recording and is trying to save a file because I've been okay. recording for hours. So this is just between us three, okay? <laughs> um, and I apologize because I, I, one of the things I'll tell you, one of the things I'll share with you guys is one of the most fun things I've been having, the things that, that has been happening for me during the capstones is getting to the question and answer session at the end of each one, um, because I've actually gotten to a point where I'm sort of starting to interview people. It's like being a talk yeah, show host and it's really fun. There's so much to learn. So so one of the things that's really interesting to me, yeah, you guys, yeah, don't worry. We're, yeah, I mean, yeah. Sure. Um, uh, but one thing that's most interesting to me is, is um, th this, project is an extension of your friendship yeah right yeah. and so in essence one of the things you're doing with this project is you're you're taking something that's there for you that's personal to you but you're turning it into something that it would be public right yeah. so first of all as you did was that something you thought about a lot as you were talking about doing it i think so we based our whole capstone on how like we would hang out like mm -hmm. and i have always We've been friends since we were like seven um yeah. so like we've all like we've had a friendship that's like had a really big foundation um and like we honestly during high school i we didn't have any classes together and like the pandemic was a time that we really got to spend a lot of time together and have these conversations and like that's i think that's always just been rooted in my friendship has been like talking and thinking together mm -hmm. like yeah um, i mean it was definitely harder like going to the black box and trying to yeah, and trying to make it make like sense and like <laughs> and uh, inauthentic. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, it didn't. It didn't feel authentic. And it wasn't just a stream because of consciousness. Because sometimes yeah. you have like <laughs> right. trying to like do something that it isn't you, or like trying to create something that yeah. Isn't well, the, you know? we experience this in the theater all the time, which right. is you're yeah. you're all of a sudden you're in an alien situation that you're trying to make seem natural. And also like the yeah. foundation of our yeah. friendship means like there's things that we don't have to say mm -hmm. like that then when we were yeah. trying to record it we had to figure out a way something. to say it out loud yeah. eloquently and also like clearly enough like, yeah that other people could understand. understandable yeah. and you know yeah something like, yeah do you guys listen to many podcasts have you listened to many other podcasts yeah, we, yeah. so yeah for this project <laughs> we did um we didn't include anything about it in there but we did like listen to we both listened to a bunch of podcasts i was never a podcast listener like yeah both of my parents, my aunt falls asleep to podcasts. Like, <laughs> my dad has his own podcast. That's why he was our mentor. And like, I've just always been like, no, I don't like listening to people talk. But because of this podcast, both of us started listening to more. And like, I, mean, I know definitely during like the, the pandemic yeah. too, like I started getting my news from the podcast yeah. too. Like, right. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I really found my niche of like, like I 
realized that like paleontology is something that I'm interested in because of podcasts. Like oh. philosophy is never something that I've really thought about, but it's something I'm interested in because of the podcast I've started listening to. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. No, well, I myself, I mean, I have my, fa- we talked about this earlier as we were working yeah. on the project that I myself have my favorite podcast and I've mentioned radio lab. Mm-hmm. And one of the things I've realized that I love so much about radio, radio lab is they're taking these science topics that are complex, yeah. but they're finding a way to make it seem natural and friendly and people hanging out together. Right. They're so right. good at like putting scientists at ease and making yeah. them just kind of with their hair down. And so I, I, um, I, I just, I'm fascinated by that. For example, right now you guys are hanging out and having a good time, right? Yeah. 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 So I, like this, I mean, we've been hanging out since 8am. Yeah. <laughs> so this would be, if, if this was only still recording and maybe it is, I don't know, there's a red light still it's, blinking. Yeah, it says recording. Yeah. Time. Yeah. So maybe yeah. it is still recording. Um, but so this really could be a good podcast episode for you. Yeah. I mean, it, could. Yeah, it totally it could be. We were like, I think the first time we had a conversation that made us think like, oh, let's record this was we were literally just like talking about pa- our parents and like how they've impacted us in such small ways, like uh-huh. how we've grown up to be people based off of like, like we've molded ourselves around our parents and our parents' responses right. to things. Yeah. And like, I think that was such a, we were like, I was, I don't even think I was 18 at that time. We were just two 17 year olds, like sitting in a car at the top of my street because we didn't want to be in my house for too long. Yeah. Like there was nowhere to go because we're in a pandemic. But... We just wanted to do something. Like it was like probably like 10 at night. Well, isn't it like a 20 minute recording of us just being like, wow. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, did, isn't, doesn't Jerry Seinfeld do a podcast that's driving around in cars getting coffee with comics? Yeah. 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 So yeah. your yeah. podcast yeah. actually was, was initiated in a car. Yeah. Yeah. And it may be that the way for you to do your podcast is to drive yeah, around in a car. Well, yeah, Literally, so we, we should have, have done like, that. Like, yeah. Originally we were like we could use like we have like a bunch of like 30 to 40 minute recordings of us just sitting in a car talking, but like we were not thinking of sharing with an audience. So there's like profanity, there's really personal topics, like it wasn't something that we could really edit to figure out how to put, like make it into something. Well, at some point you could, right, but right. and that's like that's something exactly, that we did like, if we have like eventually not have time. It, we could just yeah, it, yeah. It, it's something you could, and but that's the key. Interestingly enough, and this is a theme right now is time. time. <laughs> yeah. Now, a thing I want to point out to you is that uh, we had what about twenty five capstone. Okay, yeah. presentations. And let me see. Out of those 25 caps on presentations, how many, how many of them was the problem of time one of the major issues? Let's see. I think it was 25. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, and I think that one aspect of that is is simply that something I love about capstones, which is that here you are at the end of this sort of not just the four years of high school, but really 12 years of a school system, right? And so the kinds of of endeavors you do, the projects you do for 12 years have been formed to fit into, into semesters, yeah. right? And to fit into the project shapes yeah. and timelines that you do in school, which is not like the real world, yeah. right? And so all of these capstones is an, have been a person trying to do something that's really satisfying to them. And virtually everybody came up to the point of, you know what, trying to get this done in a semester isn't satisfying, yeah. right? Like, I don't have a satisfying... Because I, think, I yeah. think even if we had had the time to for finish recording, I don't think we would have had enough time to edit it perfectly. I don't know if we would have had enough time to like re-record the parts that we actually were like, wait, I want to add something into this. Exactly. I, I don't think that we would have like ever we been perfectly been satisfied, satisfied with the yeah. amount of time we had. Yeah. yeah. No, same thing. The young filmmakers, you know, um, it was... Um, um, Jasper Fletcher, right? Um, and, you know, he, he had set himself the goal of, of writing and making a film. And what he what he managed to do was what would have been appropriate for about this t- length, length yeah. of time, which was work with a mentor and come up with a really good screenplay, right? Mm-hmm. And then in the movie making process, that's the first quarter of the right. process. There's four more, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so one of the things that I think has been valuable to every student mm-hmm. is simply crashing into this barrier right? Yeah, yeah. And letting it adjust your thinking about how things work in the real world, right? Mm-hmm. In the real world, if you guys, and by the way, you're, uh, did I mention you're, you're, you're about to enter the real world? Yeah. Um, oh, that, yeah. that, that, that <laughs> should it be that you guys actually find this, this activity interesting, you actually have the rest of your lives. Yeah. Now, you, you'll still have to work like hell because you'll have jobs and other things, yeah. right? <laughs> But yeah, and then when you're planning that, you have to think about actually so much of it is editing. If you want to get that natural feel, yeah, and it doesn't need to. You got to do a lot of it, and then you got to edit it. Yeah, both of us like we we come from like very different backgrounds, but like in our in our lives, I feel like our parents have 
similar expectations of us. Like both of us mm. started working when we were like, I started working at like 15. You got a job when you were 16. Like, yeah, yeah. we both started working really early no, on. 15. You got, yeah. you were 15 too? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We both talked about lessons. To work yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then we, we both got jobs when we were 15. Like we've been, I've been working at the same place. We've got as two, has had like two or three other jobs. Yeah. But yeah. Like, I've had, like, like, four, had jobs. four jobs. Yeah. Like, and both of us, like, I think that this taught us both that like, we could have taken time off of work and like, I, we could have I put ourselves we could have we could have put it. ourselves yeah. thrown ourselves into this project and like not worked but I think that it it did teach us both like oh we do like both of us are leaders in our community both of us really do value the work we do for others like yeah my job at the Y is very much community service oriented like I'm teaching kids I'm, yeah. I'm like I'm working yeah. more hours than I'm getting paid for I'm doing more work than I'm getting paid for like Ruth is doing a, a job with that is like community not necessarily community service but it's like a service what, what am I what's the word I'm thinking of Nonprofit? No, no, no. She, your customer service. Customer, like, yes. Yeah. Customer what? service. And, like, I, yeah. I but for service. It. Well, no, it is that you are serving. You're, like, yeah. I have to you're, very like, nice. Yeah, and like yeah. you really have to control yourself. Yeah. And like, mm -hmm. like we're both working lots of hours at a time. Like, and I think that it just, it did just really like. And by the way, you're 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 developing the most vital social skills you'll need right. as adults, right? Yeah. yeah and like, like I think, that. That it did, like I think, I am like impressed with the fact that we both like despite the fact that we both had this massive commitment and both of us were like, we're really not going to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. Like, even though we enjoy this, we're still going to have to be putting ourselves into work first because right. other people are relying on us. Like we still, we still managed to like, yeah. Ruth was yeah. sick for the last two days and wasn't at school. And then I had work after school. And then when I stopped working, we were going to hang out. Except then Ruth had work until seven. Right. So like we, yeah. like there was so many time barriers and like she came over this morning and we were able to like, because I, I think that like, really this whole project, project right. we also feel like we would have, you know, like I wanted to make this it amazing been, introduction yeah, right. <laughs> to the podcast. Right. And, and I then, think huh. that like, the Whatever. thing is that like, when we put our, when we like really settled into work, we were able to pound out this whole thing in like an hour, like the two of us working together, like we do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Why do you think that was that when you finally were able to sit down, you were able to pound it out? What, what was there for you that allowed you to do that so quickly? We had time i mean she we had, came like, over she we, we didn't also, have school so yeah <laughs> i mean we and, also could bounce things off of each other i think right. we had a hard time doing think, it separately yeah right because and like, that we needed each other to like yeah. bounce off ideas and we, were, like, we tried for the last and, two days to like not be collaborative at the same time yeah. like, okay you like, make the slide so i'll start writing this i'll do this when i'm after school it was so hard to do that because then it was like not only was were we both like going to work and also trying to do other school work because it was the last few days but it was like but, when we were together, like, I feel like there is that unspoken, like, friendship thing that actually really, really made this, like, work the way it did. Because yeah. when we were sitting there on my bed this morning, like, one person typing something and the other person typing something else, like, we were able to be just, like, sitting there in silence, but, like, both be doing collaborative work without communicating. All right. Here's the question. As, as they say in my generation, because we all watch Let's Make a Deal, this is for the bedroom set. Okay. okay. You know that line? No. Oh. <laughs> Well, and let's make a deal. You start out with like, you know, you could win this lollipop, right? Yeah, and then it goes yeah, up to like, yeah. you know, a, yeah, a, a camera and then a car. And then yeah. the last one is for the bedroom set, right? Okay. okay so for the bedroom set, oh, now I forgot the question. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a second. I, to, I had a great question. Okay. Um, oh, yes. For the bedroom set. This morning when you're working together, when you were doing that, was it satisfying? Yeah. It was definitely satisfying I, I to definitely, get work done. Yeah, no, like being like, productive. Mm -hmm. And it was like when doing. we finished and we were like, wow, we've got like a solid three pages of writing. And like we ate like an entire thing of pad thai and like had like two hours <laughs> where we were just like sitting there grinding out work. So think about this, the fact that that was work, that was hard work mm -hmm. and it was satisfying. Right, and I think that's like- We had a good time, right? Yeah, the, the last thing I said is like that the research and heavy thinking we put into this project as an idea has not been lost on us. I mean, like we did a lot of work. Like we really, really, like when we were able to like write those essays, that was, those were the times that we sat down together yep. in my room or in Ruth's room. And we like really wrote it and like yeah. edited it and thought about it and talked about it. And it was, it was never like one of us sitting there on our phone and the other person writing and then switching. It was never like one of us, we were like on the same document, but in different spaces. It was always like we were sitting next to each other, like talking and writing at the same time. Right. And I think that, so in a way, I mean, all of the work that we've turned in has been like a mini podcast. Yeah. Like everything we've said here, we're like saying out loud as we write it. So I'm going to, I'm now going to be an annoying teacher personality and, and try to push you towards my conclusion. Okay. Like, like a good teacher would do, right. You, as in you agree with me, don't you? Um, 
do you remember I kept emailing you saying, no, no, I think this would be all fine. You'll, you'll, you'll feel more happy at the, because that based on a life lesson I have, which is that I never feel prepared, and, but I've never noticed all the work I've done. Right. So the other suggestion I'll make is one reason it was all there for you is because you did put all that work in. Yeah. We yeah. don't always realize how much work we've done, right? We have to figure out that way to like get in that room and sit down. But it, once we do, it's all there. So what I'm going to say is that this has been a richly satisfying uh, presentation. Really? Oh, and, and, and the other question I have is you, 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 you guys got back together to start this because your families decided to pod together. Yeah. And you're saying actually for the couple of years before that, you hardly saw each other, right? I mean, we were still hanging out, but it was like, it was yeah. not as much. Yeah, it was, yeah. We, would, we would hang out and like, in like a group setting if we could. We were always on the swim team together. So that- Yeah, we, okay. So you, you, know, you yeah. Other, we saw each yeah. other every day, but it was always like we were doing something at the same time. And we, I don't think either of us ever really had time to hang out with people like yeah. outside of like school or work yeah. or swim. And so like COVID for me, at least like Different. really provided an opportunity for me to narrow my social circle because I am someone who's always like, I talk to everyone. Yeah. But like, there were like three people that I hung out with every single day. Yeah. Like I would hang out with just three people for like six months. And I was like, wow, like I really appreciate yeah. the conversations that I'm having with these people. And like, that's all I really need and like to satisfy connection. myself. Yeah. 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 So you made lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. Lemons, you made lemonade. But so the, really the last comment I have is just because I'm a dad. And so dads have to make dad jokes. So the fact that you were potting together is what led to your podcast. Yeah. I just, that yeah. you were yeah. probably already joked about that. Hopefully a hundred times. I don't okay. actually think you even I thought about it. I never thought about yeah. that. So it's I a, not. what it really is, is it's a pod podcast. Yeah, it is. It's a podcast. <laughs> we should have just named it a podcast. The pod. The, the pod, pod podcast. That would have made it so much easier because we wouldn't have had to like think of like an idea. We could have just been like, yeah, we're just sitting here because we're in a pod. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, I just want to thank you for coming and doing this. I've really enjoyed it. I've had so much fun talking to you about this. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to but, but the thing I'm most today. hoping is that you're enjoying the fact of how much you've got with I this. Am. Honestly, like it does feel like it was a really good learning experience. And even if we haven't made the actual podcast itself, I yeah. feel like it, it does give a us a foundation for like yeah doing it. yeah like and even if we like don't end up making something. this podcast i feel like both of us have learned a lot about ourselves and like yeah. our, not yeah. just like our work ethic but like also like our ability like we can do like a lot of work we in a very it, short period of time yeah yeah and we put our minds like, here and really think yeah like and, we're both very intelligent and i don't think that we always remember that and <laughs> the obstacle that uh, with the, the only point i'll make and i'll make it a thousand times again i'll make it to everybody is that th that's the universal obstacle that everyone had was time yeah. and yeah. so what i most want is for everyone to take away from this right we are often not satisfied right yeah. we are often thinking we haven't done enough um when we have we just need to find a new way to come at things yeah. right? Yeah. And we've never lost what we've done. So maybe you didn't do something for a deadline at a high school in a certain format, the way a teacher would like it. But that work is all there. Mm -hmm. And th that's there for you and you have it, and you'll take it with you. Yeah. And I think at that point, everyone's heard enough from me. Yeah. So yeah. bless you guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. And thank you for finishing off this year's capstones in a place of glory. Thank you. Yay! Ruth and Cecilia. Woo!